some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got a bit of an update on Taco Terry and his recent court date. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What you gonna do with all that junk, all that junk? What's up, buddy? Loose Gun, how you guys doing? Damn, I look weird without my glasses. I just realized I just saw myself without my glasses. I look so weird. Just got out of there, got back over the car, sitting down, waiting to get some folks. Oh, we got 80 people in here already. All right, so I'm gonna give y'all a little update. So today's court date was for the uh, incident at the MVA that took place. God, it was probably back in, like, May. I think it was back in May, maybe even before that. It might have been like March. Either way, I went out to the MVA. I didn't want to wear a mask. They told me I had to wear a mask. My grandma told me to put the mask on. I put it on. They came. The police picked me up and threw me out of the building anyway. While my grandma was trying to explain to them that he put the mask on, what's your reason for this or that, they pushed her out of the door. Uh, she's a very like short lady, so she waddles as is. She fell. Um, I think she maybe screamed a little too much for sure. Uh, maybe a little dramatic in the scenario, but definitely a very shocking and scary thing for an old woman to fall, so. Is that any way to talk about your grandmother, especially since she's taking care of you, taco boy? She's letting you live at her house and you treat her like that? Just goes to show that those videos that you put up of you acting like the, a prick are just the tip of the iceberg and are no act. I'm not going to sit here and fault her on uh, getting as worked up as she did. But that was ultimately their, like, argument was that we got worked up outside and we disturbed the peace. And that I uh, disobeyed lawful orders to calm down and not uh, disrupt the peace and to, to leave the premises. And just this, that, and the third. So, ultimately, we get up here today and the state had offered a stet docket. Um, it was a set docket with eight hours of community service, basically meaning they had no case. They knew they had no case. So I was like, look, I'm, I'm not taking that. Like, I, I guess I'm a principles person is what I'm trying to say is I would rather take my chance at going to trial and having this judge just be a complete corrupt asshole and convict me wrongfully of something that I didn't do than to kind of plead guilty to something that I know I didn't. Now, ultimately, the stat docket is not an admission of guilt. It's ultimately you and the state agreeing that uh, you're both not going to go to trial on this, that maybe they do or don't have enough evidence to uh, convict you. Actually, I think that would be an Alfred plea. Uh, ultimately, the state doesn't have enough evidence to convict me. So we took a stat docket. And ultimately what that means is in the next three years, as long as I don't commit any other crimes or any serious offenses, this will get wiped off the record. It is- Nah, you won't last that long. You won't last but a couple months before you're arrested again. It's just in your nature. And you're gonna be brought up on, in court on these charges again as a result. So it's still not in your favor, dude not a guilty plea uh, it's also not a not guilty though and that's kind of what upset me is i didn't really want to take the plea deal for the stat docket but if i took my chance and went to trial and was found guilty by the actually i don't think i've ever been in front of judge pyro i don't i don't know anything about him whether he's a good or a bad judge but either way if i take my chances in front of judge pyro and i lose the case i can ultimately be convicted of something that they didn't have evidence to really convict me of so at least in this way i can take the stat docket not plead that i'm guilty but also not have to worry about the state wrongfully convicting me these are the same people that are charging me multiple different cases with crimes that i did not commit so i don't really have the uh the the best faith in them doing the right thing as far as the maryland judicial system is concerned so I didn't really want to take my chances there. I told the public defender, like, look, I'm not doing no community service. I'm not doing that. I'm not going out and spending hours of my time for their ignorance and their problem. Like, they, I'll go to trial before I sit there and do eight hours community service. They ultimately agreed to do a plea deal, stat docket, no community service after six months, 
nulli prosequi the case. Um, it then, through talking with my public defender, the recent like trash cleanups and uh, the work with the home. I know y'all thought I was like joking about those homeless things too, but I really do have care packages ready to go with Chewies, socks, hats, deodorants, soap, stuff like that, ready to go. So I'm actually able to use the recent work I've been doing, helping pass out uh, different stuff at the Lighthouse Shelter down here in Annapolis, and then personally on my own time, different supplies to homeless shelters, and then also the trash cleanup at the park that I did. I can use those hours for community service, as my community service hours. Sounds like you were sitting at community service hours because if you hadn't been, then why would you be uh, saying that those count towards your community service hours? So I ended up going ahead and going back and taking the plea deal with the eight hours of community service because what I'm already doing constitutes as that. So it was kind of like a win-win. I don't have to go to trial. I don't have to fight the state and let them ultimately try to convict me wrongfully, which I know they're trying to do at every turn. Uh, it allows me to continue to do some kind of good work and also use that uh, in, a, in a legal sense to help myself out of this situation. But yeah, it's ultimately just not going through the headache of just like fighting the state when I know they're trying to convict me wrongfully. Like if they're gonna sit here and charge me with crimes I didn't commit, who's to say that the judge isn't in on the same shit? Who's to say he's not part of the same corrupt legal system that he already works for? Like, so that was kind of where my like head was after speaking with, thank you, Michelle. Uh, thank you everyone that's been saying something too, y'all to bomb.com. So ultimately that was kind of like my thinking with the public defender that I had. And she's awesome. Her name is Megan Downey. She's like triple A plus rock star, 10 gold stars, 12 out of 10, fucking 9,000 power level for sure. Uh, she's the bomb.com. So when speaking to her, she was like, look, if we take the plea deal now, the worst that can happen is they bring the case back up. You end up having to go to trial. And then you fight the case that you were going to fight today anyway. So why not at least take this route and maybe not have to worry about the state wrongfully convicting you and dealing with all that. And you still don't have a guilty plea. So it was kind of like a, a good scenario. I think if maybe if I had had a private attorney and had spent like money on this whole situation, I'd have fought it out. But with having a public defender, someone who was willing to go to trial for me, but was also willing to kind of. Uh, help me view it from a different standpoint. I was very appreciative of so it, it kind of worked out in the way that it worked out So it's not a it's not a not guilty. It's also not guilty. We just both kind of amicably agreed to Not go to trial against each other. Well as he is about to say that uh, They are absolutely overflowing with cases right now on that court. So basically it did not go to trial so he was not tried therefore not found guilty or not guilty, so it's not a win or a loss of any kind at this point. It's just that it didn't go to trial because of that situation. But of course, I'm sure he'll try to spin it otherwise, or some of his fans will spin it otherwise. Ultimately, they knew they didn't have any evidence. If the state had any evidence whatsoever, they would not be offering me a stead docket. They don't charge you with crimes that you didn't commit and then like offer you like a slap on the wrist out of it. That's not what happens. They did it because they know they have no evidence. The very first one. And they, they just want to like make it go as far as it can. They just want to try to like rub me out of money, which it's not costing me any money because one, I don't have any money. Two, I have a public defender, so that doesn't cost any money. And three, they just want to run me out of like spirit and, and fight and just like hope. And they're not going to do either, man. So yeah, I have like all three of those this month. Definitely a wild one. So yeah, I've just been taking it easy, man. I've just been chilling, taking some time for myself. The first case is to, yeah, that first case is some bullshit. I wasn't even back on the property. They tried to say I came back onto the property to trespass and I had a body camera on that was on the entire time. So like, it's easily beatable. They know they have no evidence in no case. They're just trying to prolong it just to be dickheads, so. Well, that's enough out of his gutter hole. I don't want to hear anymore. But we at least know that he took the plea deal and therefore he can't get in trouble for quite a while. Otherwise, he's going to go back to court.